Hey guys and welcome back. <laughs> okay, so today is gonna be a chatty long video because it is a haul. It's a haul! <laughs> of one of our most favorite indie perfume houses, yeah. which is. 4160 Tuesdays. That's right. Benny has a few favorites from this house and if you do too, please share them with us in today's video. But recently I made an order and ordered a few fragrances and Sarah McCartney was so kind to send me a bunch of travel sprays. So I have so many fragrances to talk about and everything is so nicely wrapped and all these different tissues, oh my god! Two Sun Harry 60 Tuesdays team is just amazing. Betty, Be Betty, mm -hmm. Betty, 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 Betty is getting Betty. Betty is getting ready <laughs> for some deliciousness right yeah. here. So let's get started. And uh, the first fragrance so, okay, is okay. gonna be yeah, the first so fragrance many. is gonna be impossible to choose. Okay. This one because we got a lot here. You can't see it right now, but there are about I don't so know many. twelve. Twelve? No. Not yeah, so exactly twelve. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, anyway, this is actually a special perfume because yeah. it is a limited edition. Oh, okay. And uh, it is a blend of two Sarah's fragrances. So first of all, we have um, uh, maxed out in here, and the second one with which it is blended is "Take Me to the River," which we will discuss later because I yeah. have it too. It's delicious, Ooh. but. It's very different because it is added um, to Max Out, which I haven't tried yet, so it's in the future, but it's sort of strange in the opening because it it's just strange. It's not really smoky, but it's sort of dirty. It smells of um, maybe like electricity or just something very, very like... Blood. Blood, metallic something. Yeah. Ugh, something, but it's, it's, it's like, dirty. It's really dirty. It's... It's strong, strange. From the beginning, I, I don't like it. Yeah. I hope it will change. Yeah, it will because yeah. later on okay. you'll pick uh, up more of sweetness from Take Me uh, to the River. But it was created for Marcel Lecon's Edinburgh Festival. So, anyway, it is very special edition. If you like Max Out, you'll probably enjoy this one. And we are moving on to the next, which to is. Next. Uh, Killer Rose. Killer Rose. Oh, this is actually a good one. It is one of my favorites, to be honest. And let's see what Benny thinks about it. Should I oh, add it in a size bottle? It's better. It's better. It's, okay. it's, it's definitely better than the one before because it's, uh, it's more sweet, floral. No. It's it's pleasant. It, it's nice, classic oh, rose yes. perfume. Because yeah? It is sort of inspired by the 80s, so it is oh. in the retro style and mm -hmm. it has that signature Sarah McCartney fruitiness to it and I even smell like a peach skin in there, so it is a powdery fragrance and yeah, it is a killer rose in the way that uh, it's just amazing. Can I pick the next okay. one? Yes, you can pick yes, the next one. Yes, it is Freeway that I've been dreaming about for a year and I got it in a 30ml bottle and I'm so happy that I did. By the way, these are very adorable bottles and let's spray it because, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What do you think about it? If I go to LA one day, I'll take it with me. Oh my goodness. For the freeway? Yeah, it's just so good. Oh, it's also strong. It's a little bit... I don't know, is it smoky? It should I'm smell sure. of uh, traffic and of orange blossom and of oh. fuel and stuff like that. But for me, it is okay, about... No, it, it doesn't remind me from, from, of traffic. Okay. Definitely not. Okay, to me it smells about boozy vanilla, like with alcohol, with orange blossom. It's just so warm, okay. delicious and it very, very extra. smell vanilla or like, citrus. But not like typical vanilla, it's just a very abstract, extravagant no, vanilla. It's like LA vanilla, you know, it's different. It's I, I think this will be great oh. later, after a while. Oh. But, but but I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure what I'm thinking about this one right now. Okay, okay. It, it's still not bad. But it's Nothing also, is bad from Sarah. Also, also not good. It's, it's okay. It's, for you? Uh, yeah, for, 
for me, of course, every time when I say it's good or it isn't, it's my personal opinion. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, you, okay, the next one. The next you, you, one. You're a speedy conservative today. Yes, because you? we have so many. Here. Here, this one. Drive them wild. Oh, I bet you like them. this name, right? Drive them. Because I drive you wild all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the In both ways. <laughs> ah, what oh, a the, name of it. It's interesting. Isn't it delicious? It's it's complex. It's just like a cake with honey no, inside. No, it's it's no cake with honey inside. It's I don't know what to it is. To me, it's cake with honey inside. Okay, so be with your honey cake and, on and your own. And sugary tea. But, uh, no, no. Um, okay, tea maybe. Yeah. M m might be. Yeah. It's but it's it's very complex. It's, I I can't define. Is it is it sweet or mm -hmm. is it floral mm -hmm. or is it. Herb? I I don't know. It's it's mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's it's okay. a, it's not challenging. It's very interesting. It's uh, I think easy to wear. So wearable, and I you think would say. Later, hmm? So it's wearable in your opinion. Yeah. You could wear yeah. it. Yeah. But 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 I'm very um, interested in how it will turns out. Which Turn. ingredient will be the the most dominant in the base right notes on. in the dry down? Yeah. Okay. And just a few words about mm. this perfume. It was inspired yep. by a Hollywood actress Dolores Del Rio, and I googled her. She's very beautiful. Looks like from the 40s or 30s. And in here we have white flowers. We have some musk and also vanilla spice. But okay. let it sit. Okay. And uh, let's move on. Can I pick one? Let's do okay. me. Me, you, me, you. No? No, it's no? okay. Okay? It's okay. Ha! Of course I need You're to pick this one. You're always taking the big bottles. <laughs> because Come I, on. Lo I love them so much and I got them. Like I bought them, you know? Those other ones were gifts for review. And this okay. is just like okay. my jam. I love it. Because it's called Sex Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing. Yes, it's such... I... All Sarah McCartney's names are just like spot -ons. I I love all her perfume names. Uh, are you excited to smell it? I actually wear it right now. Yeah? Yes. Then, then you, you are wearing a lot today, I think. Mm, Don't you? I sprayed this one the most. Oh okay. my goodness. Like I had a... You can smell it. Yeah, can. I will. Anyway, I had a sample and I was wearing it every night and I just decided to grab a bottle just to feel mm. like sex goddess not only in nighttime but also in the daytime. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Um, I think so far the best perfume. Yeah! So, so far. Good, 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 but good. No, it's, it's really great. And this one is actually a mix of two other Sarah's perfumes. She does that a lot and I actually enjoy it. Uh, so in here we have the sexiest uh, scent on the planet and uh, Goddess of Love and Perfume mixed into one. And I mm -hmm. believe there are a lot of fruits in there. Once again, it smells of Sarah's signature fruity note. Like if you want the best fruity perfume on this earth, go for 4162 Tuesdays fruity options because they are to die for and this is the best mm -hmm. one I know. It's just so super sexy and wonderful and bold but in a nice way. It's very pleasant, it's not like too dominant if you know what I'm talking about and every time you smell yourself you just like oh my god I'm I'm the queen, I'm the goddess. Yeah. 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 And okay. in my opinion, oh. it's also feminine too. It's it's it definitely feminine. And I think it is sex goddess just because it works like mm. aphrodisiac, just because the flowers in there are so opulent and the fruits they are so forbidden mm. and juicy. But at the same time, you can't really figure out which notes exactly are in there. Yeah, you can right. only guess, and that makes it even more exciting. And, and, and tell me, is this a unisex perfume or is it? I a would say it is a feminine scent. Yeah, I, I would also say it's a feminine, but. What is it officially? I think it's a feminine one, but I'm not sure. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go with another one. It's your turn. Okay. There is only one full-size bottle left. Grab it while, while no, you can. No, I won't grab it. <laughs> I'm taking him Mrs. Gloss Lemon Sherber. Yeah. Um, don't you want the original one? Mrs. Gloss made me dolt. Because that is the original fragrance and this I is sort of like a flanker. I don't know which one is, is flanker and which one is original. Okay, we will take this one. I didn't know that we have the second one. Yes, we so, have. Okay, there's, okay, let's try them together maybe and, and already compare them. Okay, so because here you go. Because this is the flanker yes, and this, this is the original. Is the original. So, the original right now. Yes, and Ooh. I will spray it. It's also a little bit sweet. It's, 
I don't know, is it chocolate or something? Mm, no. Well, what is... The, 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 the but it's very sweet. Oh my goodness. It's just like, Changing. honestly, I uh, when I see, saw the notes and I think it's about sweets and honey f and the candy floss and stuff like that. I was just like, okay, it doesn't really impress me all that much. And Sarah sent me all of them. There are three. This, this and another one. And I wore it like three times and I, I, I thought that this is the most delicious, yummy, great fragrance that is so enjoyable, that makes me happy, that makes me feel so very good, that I just can't stop smelling. It's just, it's fantastic. I love it. I'll definitely get a 50ml bottle and I will go like crazy with it because that fragrance it's just something out of this world, and you like it too. No, Maybe I, I, I I, I'm it not fun. sure. I'm trying to 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 figure out what's inside, and I don't know why, but I associate as associate associate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Associate the, the smell. I don't know why with beer. With beer, that's yeah. so funny. Why? Why, <laughs> why does it smell like beer? Why? To you? Why is it funny for you? Because there is nothing beer-like in okay. there. Okay, I don't know why. Because it's, a, it's, it's, it's sweet and it's, it's something deep inside. I, I don't you know. You always describe things like deep, deep and I don't yeah, understand deep, what that means. Deep, heavy, uh, like, I, I don't know, uh, maybe woody. Yeah, this is or, fresher. Or, Try this, the or, lemon or, one or while the, you can still smell the lemon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is like, I don't even know which that, one that, is that better. Is, that is Radler. <laughs> that is beer mixed with uh, lemon. lemon. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Oh, my no, that, that's really goodness. just lemon. It's very strong lemon. No. 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 Or no. Si no. Is, no. 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 That's why it's for me. No. Sure. <laughs> to me, it's still the delicious candied scent, but this time it's uh, in the form of um, lemon lemonade. It's lemon cake. Yeah, but but in, in very sugary, very very sweet, mm. like. These perfumes are sweet, just the lemon one has more of citrusiness going on in the opening and it is fresher and a bit more enjoyable in my opinion and this one is a bit heavier, more suitable for a nighttime wear. What? Still beer. Beer? I don't mind. <laughs> I'm, so, to I'm sorry, I don't know, but I think... Of what beer. don't you know? But, but, but I prefer the, 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 the lemon one. You, mm, me too, sorry. There is actually the third one. I want to give it to you as well, which is called uh, A Walk in the Forest. Here you go. And this is that same fragrance, but I think with more with oak moss or something. And in my opinion, it is the most masculine one. But they sort of. Oh, it's all a coconut inside. Of, actually, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there is moss in there. For me, it smells a little bit of some dirty musk as well, maybe with uh, some light woods, you know, it's sort of like a cozy fragrance that you can take with you when you go out for a walk, when it's cloudy outside and you're wearing your favorite scarf and shoes and you're walking with your dog um, in the autumnal forest, sort of like that. It's it has nothing one. sweet to it. Do no, it's, it's the best one of the three. Okay. Of the three misses something. Yeah, so there, in the original one, there is pink grapefruit, there is rose absolute, there is atlas cedar wood, there is candy floss, and there are white musk. And Benny just dropped the blotter, but that's not a problem. No, it isn't. Uh, so you like this one the most, right? Uh, yeah. In my opinion, if I should tell you where is the main mm. difference, the original one, it is the sweetest, most delicious one, candy floss and rose, as well as maybe a bit of grapefruit, those are most prominent notes. The lemon one obviously has more of um, freshness and citrusiness, and to me, that is the most wearable one, and also, I just love it. I could wear it as my happy scent every day. Mm -hmm. And funny thing, when I looked into the notes once again, I wasn't excited, but now I'm so happy that Sarah sent me some, because I'll buy them. And this one, it's not my fear that you're smelling, mm -hmm. uh, but it's okay too. I wore it a few times, and it is pretty weak. Maybe I needed to apply more, but uh, yeah. Whose yeah. turn? Your it's turn. My turn. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm going for a Red Queen, which I am today. Yeah. Why did you? <laughs> 
Why did you, you took this one? I thought you would take the next big bottle and because I would Because I wanted to leave okay. a big bottle for you. No, I don't want the big bottle. Okay, then you won't get a big bottle. Anyway, that fragrance was created for Safleur Blanc. I don't know mm, how to pronounce the name. Well, I know, but I can't because it's French. And that is, uh, yeah, well, we all know what that is. And uh, Sarah already created a white queen, sort of like Alice from the Wonderland, you know. Oh. And this is the red queen now. So what do you think about the red queen? It's uh, also sweet mm -hmm. at the beginning. And so many of Sarah's red are sweet. Yeah, the, 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 the sweet. And it's good. I believe there is frankincense or something. Let me check. And you can talk, so it's entertaining for the guys who are watching. But you're talking so much, it's so great if you could <laughs> continue talking. Okay, so there is frankincense, there is fruity rose, and uh, I don't know what else because apparently Sarah doesn't tell us. Oh, there is a poponax, a labdanum, and raspberry leaf absolute together with bergamot. But to me, it's sort of a mysterious fragrance because I can't really figure it out. I I think it's like it's not resinous in the way like it's churchy, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's not as sweet and fruity as all the other ones, like Sex Goddess, for example. It's yeah, not okay. like that. It's, it's not or like it's not that. as rosy and also like peachy as um, the first one we tried, the uh, the, the smoky one. Yeah, no, no, well, one. anyway, um, not that the one. Um, one was... It doesn't matter. Anyway, this perfume is sort of like mysterious. What okay. do you think? No, so, so 90% uh, of perfumes are for me mysterious because <laughs> I can't figure out what's inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like this one. It's, it's, it's a good perfume. You like it? Yeah, I like would it. Would you wear it? Can I, I, I don't think that I would wear it. I would okay. rather prefer this as an, uh, a feminine perfume, even though it's unisex and red i think queen. yeah red queen so, so so the name definitely isn't unisex <laughs> but no it's okay okay so okay. it's your turn now it's my turn now we have this three left right yep okay so i will only great ones all of my favorites are left. so i will take you to the river yes this is such a good <laughs> perfume oh my take god take me to the river this is so good like literally so good i fell in love with it right away first tried it okay so good it was a crowned uh, proud found project so proud found? Yeah, anyway yeah oh my god oh. also once again like signature of Sarah McCartney is there you can tell that it's from her it smells for me like alcohol cognac or something yes yeah yes oh. it smells whoa well done <laughs> it smells like alcohol to me too yeah like yeah rosy alcohol I don't know, no. Rosy. Um, More cher 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 cherry whiskey. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Some red alcohol for sure. Like, this is such a beautiful fragrance. Such it's interesting. A beautiful, yes. I don't think that I will like it and I don't think that I would wear it, but right now it smells interesting. Okay. Uh, well, this is inspired by this song. Which that song? is sensual and wicked, I guess, take me to the river. You think so? Uh, and uh, it's just gorgeous. There is leather in mm. there, there is tobacco, but I smell some tobacco. wine and mm. roses and uh, there is cognac. Did you say cognac? Yeah, I said there cognac. There is cognac. cognac. Oh my god, yes. And some fruits and spices. Well done. Yeah. And that is actually what is in here. That, that's one of the 10%. That, uh, that you don't like. <laughs> it is in the there. Cognac. No, this fragrance is ah, there mixed, mixed with here. another Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's strange because I, I like this from the beginning and... Because in the beginning of that one you have more of uh, mixed out, which this you is, probably no. wouldn't like that much. It might be, one sec. You know what I'm talking about? No, I, I still don't like the other one. No, but I no, like it. Sorry. I find it's like interesting, but it has that uh, okay. DNA of this one. It's like fantastic. If you have never tried anything from Sarah, I would say try this and you'll be blown away so, so much. Um, my yeah. turn or your turn? Uh, right now it's your turn. Okay, you don't want any no, I don't want this. And actually when I got uh, a few samples from Sarah, I had this one and this one, Take Me to the River, that we just um, reviewed and Wash Me in the Water. And I asked you which one should I buy and you told me this one because it's more interesting. So now we'll see if you still think um, the same. And here you go. Whoa, that was a lot. 
ah wow it's just gorgeous it's beautiful you can still get it but it is a limited edition so it won't be forever what do you think i don't know what i think i like it right now but mm -hmm. i it's also sweet mm. But in a different bit, way. Yeah, in a very different way. It's it's a absolutely other kind of sweetness than the perfumes before, but... Mm -hmm. It's different. Oh, that, sure. that, that's good. That's really interesting. Uh-huh. Mm, I got it so, right. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to wear it? I want to spray yeah, some I, I, I would wear this, yeah. So no, no, not, not now, not, not because we have one left and maybe mm -hmm. this will be the one. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I, I, me neither, but... Yeah. Let's talk about this one. Let's t let's talk about this one because I don't oh, know... Oh, there is mint. Do you smell the mint? No, I don't smell the okay. mint. I smell minty coconut in there. So funny. Minty coconut? Minty coconut. Some sweetness, a bit of powderiness. It's just delicious. It, it's delicious, yeah. It's, it's oh, good. It's but like in a fresh way. It's like minty sweet. So good. Which one is that? Red Queen. So you try to pick a favorite between those? Yeah. So what do you think? They're very Actually, different. you can, you can't make a battle between no, them because, because they are so like different. Yeah, they are so sense. different, and they're both great. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, I like both. Okay, so these are your favorites so far, but we have so one far. more left. Yes. Do you want to try it? Yeah, yeah, I want to. Try. Of course, I want to try it. That's why I'm here. What's the name? Burnt Cedar. Yes, Burnt Something. Cedar Rainbow Doves. Okay. <laughs> Can't read the whole Burnt name. Cedar Rainbow Here Doves. You go. It's important from the beginning. Yep. I don't think that you like such fragrances. Hello? Is this the other one that is mixed into the first no, one that we tried? No, the other because one I don't have. But it's similar because it's yeah. also smoky. Yeah. It's like, it, it, I know. It's like smoky. Oh, it's like beautiful. It's the same. No, it's not the same. <laughs> okay, it's not but the it's same, but it's uh, very different. Um, they are very different from each other, but in here I smell like leather. Yeah, something like that. I, I don't like it in the opening. Okay. No, I, I really don't like it. I you don't like this notes? one, and I don't like the first one. And yeah, tell, tell us the notes. Come on. So there are some flowers, such as orange oh. blossom and okay. rose, but there is also cedar wood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are almonds. There is yeah. moss, musk, civet, yeah. and oh, civet. Uh, something like sugar. So I would personally say that it smells like sweets that you're eating at the bonfire. So it smells fiery, mm, okay. it smells like burning wood, at the same time there is some sugary sweetness in the background. In my opinion that is what makes it so interesting and delicious and I get very hungry when I smell it, I yeah. literally want to eat. And in my opinion this is only a nighttime fragrance, also very very suitable for men, just because it has that leather in there that I associate with men more than with women so if you're looking for something more manly from this house I would recommend you that one so so far I think your favorites are uh, red rose red queen. And, um, red queen and what was the, the take me uh, to the wash me in the water wash me in the water right so my favorites are definitely um, mrs. gloss lemon sorbet uh, freeway, obviously, sex goddess. Uh, take wash me oh, the water. Was also good, right? Take and take me to the river. Those five, I highly recommend you guys to try. But there are so many more, and I have already done a few videos on Sarah's perfumes. Yeah, and uh, really a lot. before we go eat, there are two very special fragrances that were created for um, a Facebook group. Oh my soul! Uh, she collaborated with Christy. Um, one other time, this is my favorite perfume from this brand, uh, that was their first fragrance and this is uh, the second one, just called Clouds, there is a song uh, like that and this is the most expensive fragrance that Sarah has ever uh, created. So I want to smell you both versions, there is a very expensive and less expensive one, but actually they both are pretty pricey and bloody gorgeous and I want to get uh, some of them for my mom because I want one fragrance for my mom from Sarah and I knew that she will like it because I smell it and I just picture my mom, it's just such a beautiful, no, it's stunning fragrance and my mom loved it so... Maybe it's gonna be a Christmas gift for her. What do you think? What do I think? Then they're both 
mm. interesting in the beginning, <laughs> but it's like it this is more I don't know, I'm thinking of fresh. ozone. Yeah. It's very fresh, it's mm -hmm. maybe a little bit Citrus aquatic yes. or, or of airy, I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for and, sure. And and this it's, it's sweet. It's sweet, similar sweet than uh, a couple of other mm -hmm. perfumes that we tried, like mm -hmm. uh, Sex Goddess or mm -hmm. Red Queen. Mm -hmm. There is. It's, uh -huh. I, I don't know what's inside. There are actually so many gorgeous notes, like Narcissus and Hay, and uh, now I can't even remember the notes, but there are great notes in there. And to me, it's powdery. Not obviously gourmand sweet, but there is mm. some sweetness that is similar mm. to Sex Goddess, like you said. And I will get one of these for my mom, probably the most uh, affordable one. But uh, with that being said, we made it through yeah. these amazing perfumes that I wish you could only smell. Definitely check out this house, it is one of the best ever. Like Sarah yeah. does such an amazing job creating interesting perfumes yeah. that are captivating, they are delicious, that you can't get enough of. And check out her social media pages like her Facebook group, like Instagram, her website, read about her perfumes because they have also nice stories that we couldn't tell you here because otherwise that video would be too long. And with that being said, thank you so much. You're As welcome. always, I love to film with you. I love to see your reactions on perfumes. I love to discuss fragrances with you. I know that sure. you guys enjoy that too. So if you like this video and you want to see more from us, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Let us know requests for future videos and that's all. Have an amazing day and stay tuned, smell good. We'll see you next time really soon. Bye. Bye.